Welcome to Onivia, League of Legends Highlights. These are the best highlights from today's LPL matchup. Last day of non-broadcast games, and the first game was so incredibly entertaining that we started to let our hair down a little bit, and loosen the tight, and uh, get really um, particularly well. We saw that in that first game, very much on show, and once again, Leon heading towards this bot side. There's no camps down here. I He's, there's no camps for him to take anywhere, actually, so he's kind of an unknown quantity across the map, and he's just here to, I guess, protect the push coming in. You do have Meteor coming towards bot side now. Zenith played in. Oh, they've engaged just as Lian was finishing his recall, but he did not finish it, and predicts the flash with his Skittle, his first blood for Photic. Jinjiao tastes the rainbow. Uh, trade battle. Uh, trading okay in this top side. That matchup's not fallen out of proportion right now. One thing I will say about this top lane matchup. After the nerfs, it has become more manageable than it was, obviously. And now Bertle's coming down first. Rookie's here, though. Leon just getting absolutely shredded by Meteor. But Rookie is going to go for the lightning crash and hunt for some damage. Hai Chao kind of whiffs it. And Leon doesn't even go down. And Meteor will be next on the chopping block as Shanji forces a flash out. Equalizer already used Bertle. He Q3'd before the flash, and he doesn't find the knockback. And now he's in a 1v2, but Jin Zhao arrives to set up some CC, but Bertel can't really follow up on it, and Lien rejoins the fray. This is going on oh. a lot longer than I think anyone expected, as Jin Zhao technically solo kills Lien. Great chunk. <laughs> Man, uh, just revisiting uh, part of what we said in post, game. Mewtwo has six. Hang on, this is a problem. Oh, Lien no. doesn't have flash, oh, he's going to get no. run down. Oh, Hai Chao sets it up beautifully for Meteor to knock it out of the park. Red buff will be the next and, thing um, to go. It gets really weird after this point, though. Is, uh, it's getting weird again now. Photic oh, caught out. Photic. Oh, <laughs> Photic. Oh, Photic. You just... You just can't. I'm going to be honest. That's why I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> that is precisely what I have subscribed for. Chanji underneath the tower here. Oh, Meteor goes wide on the pushback, but Bertol is just going to do it all by himself. He doesn't even need Meteor oh. there. <laughs> oh, he wished Meteor was there. Uh. Even Chanji gets a kill, and now Xiaoya chunked us. Lien searching in the bottom side. Xiaoya dodges the root. Jin Zhao does not and goes back in. Xiaoya trying to turn it around onto Zhuo. Jin Zhao just sacrifices his life to make the play happen. So, um, one for one in top side. Kill goes to Birdall, which does get into the Kainic Rookin. That is an important point in the matchup. You would have liked to not die for it, though. Photic looking uh, for something to show you. Misses the Chow, W. You shouldn't be here, buddy. You should just not be here. Juo happy to tank. Uses the Killer Instinct. Juo dodges the tower. Aggro with a twisted advance. Very nicely done by the NIP. We oh. said we were calling this maybe a chance for Fiesta with the amount of mobility. Leanne stopped at his oh. recall. Chow on the flank. The smite from Meteor denies the recall. Photic just about gets away, but Chow. Actually, the flash might be enough. No, it's not. That's a Yone. Never mind. <laughs> we, we're in 11 minutes. So the, the Mongolian mud wrestling again. Um, with the Grubs have spawned again. Meteor does have ult this time. Does have Shoujin. Lian doesn't have ult. I think an LGD, I think they feel they can take this. Oh, it feels so scary for Karthus, doesn't it? Lian is trying to stick to these Grubs. There's the solar flare. There's the follow up onto him. Lian does survive, though, and gets a kill on Jin Zhao. And in the meantime, Meteor forced away. Rookie over with a lightning Managed crash. To get that kill there. But NIP, they stop the Grub again coming through. Uh, Meteor, hang on, that's going to be it all in. Oh, Photix has been caught. This is why you pick Kaiser into Ezreal. That exact interaction. Because Once you. He, do, he, he just does everything, and he gets that blade power spike, and much like the Aurelia, he had like Vamp Scepter or Blade, and suddenly you're full build and you can kill everyone. Um, yeah, this champion has been an issue for a very long time. One of the reasons we haven't seen him for a long time is because AP junglers haven't been good. Meteor puts the Herald down in mid lane. Mark out. Meteor has himself the ults. Jin Chao's going to go down again. At least stuns Rookie before he drops, but I'm not really sure that's quite enough of a trade. Herald not comes just in. just like, oh, Leona, you know, she's always one of five at 16 minutes. No, 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 no. You can just not go in. Like, Mako is not yeah. usually one and five at 16 minutes. Yeah, There's yeah. a reason for that. Um, you're only on a sideline. That's why you don't want to play. Towards pulling at the sit. Teleports, here we go. Oh, Shanji flashes away. The Equalizer is pretty good, but he's in a 1v4. Trisha Barrage comes on in. That's some good damage. And Requiem is available for Lien. Jin Zhao will definitely fall. Yeah. I mean, I'm pretty sure Jin Zhao gained HP from the <laughs> ultimate there. As uh, Shanji has just been found. And I will say, as much as I personally hate Yone, Hai Chao is having a great game on this pick right now. 
And High Showers had some. Oh, hang on, he's cresting 3,000 gold lead or something like that. End up almost at 5,000. He's going to get killed again. Shanji, he's High not in the lead. He's just getting um, isolated. LGD, they're looking for the isolated picks and they're fighting them onto Shanji. Massive. Very easy to forget. You do 20% extra damage to dragons and also per dragon you kill, get an extra 5 armor and magic resist. So I'll get a lot of HP through the. Um, through the through the one, the dragons are there are other items which are like flicker blades, so Shavada just yeah. hits you for like two thousand damage and then immediately has the cooldown back again. He has a flash, Leanne does have a flash, but can he get out? I doubt it. What's stronger, the god of death or a dragon with a fidget spinner? It's the dragon <laughs> every single time. Diving on in though, and Shanji's gone once again. He tried to show up to the fight, but he's not the one breathing out fire this time. It's Meteor. There's a bonus for LGT. They are looking like they might just win this one as a bit of a wash against an IP. Rookie's still trying to chase down. Rookie, I think he's feeling it right now. There's a lot of low health bars. Rookie, very strong on the Zeri. Very strong. He might just go for it again. Oh, he's looking for Birdall. Isolate target, but the all out comes on through! And Birdall just takes him out oh of the picture. Man, he has running. The ultimate two item spike from, from Zeri is really, really strong in terms of AoE damage. Problem is after this point that he kind of tries to use that a little too much and oh. grab out and start it. We don't get a replay of the KO at the end of the fight. We're just going to be 50 50 in Baron, aren't we? It's a good equalizer. The smite comes in, though. Can LGD get away with their prize? Can they get away with this objective? Jin Zhao sacrifices himself as Shanji moves over the fire. Hai Chao ults defensively. They're trying to escape, and Lien doesn't want to let the wall of pain on three players. It's a big slow. The health bars ticking down. Rookie with a lightning crash. They find two, but two just isn't enough. Two doesn't feel like it should have been. Far ahead of their counterparts. It's devastating. I also kind of like that Meteor's going towards the Seekers as well. You could go towards the Horizon Focus. One of the, hang on, Photic forced to cleanse there. Should be fine after that that point, but, you know, a lot of Enchiladas is going straight in. That's some artillery. It certainly is. Meteor might have overstepped on this one. Seeker's Arm Guard keeps him alive. Does he get away from the Equalizer, though? Rookie is cleaning it up. That's two for the side of NIP and maybe a throw from LGD. This is the exact same that we saw last game, just the other way around. Child dives into the mix, but in the meantime, Birdall has fallen, shall ya? I don't know why we're even maybe looking at it. useful NIP can get some gold back, and, mate... <laughs> We're in for another bagger, I think. We're within 2,000 gold, coming into 25, 26 minutes. We have multiple objectives taken across the board. NIP ahead in Dragons, but slightly behind in gold. I think we're ready for some big fight team fights again now. NIP, I thought they don't have themselves that those big old Cesare and Carthus. They've got some good damage on that Baron. Fotic and a true shop barrage onto Xiaoyi here. Rookie caught out by Hai Chao. The Baron's just going to go down here for LGD. That's twice now that they find the objective for themselves. Shanji's moving over to try and be a part of the play, and NIP are stalling as long. Up on the table, as... NIP, if they get Sol, it's a big win for them. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm not sure that the play really worked out for them in the end. Without Equalizer up for this fight, it feels really hard. Hai Chao gets onto Lien as well, and just one bangs him. At land Meteor there to finish it off. Requiem will at least get Jin Zhao, but it's one kill in trade for the Drake. And now in goes Birdle to set up the fight, but he's gone way too deep. The rest of the team not on board for Shanji. the players. Meteor is burning down as well. NIP have found a miracle off the back of the fight. Rookie skates his way to safety. Ha Just, I think it's worth us acknowledging the fact that LGD now, that is three neutral objectives in a row. Two Barons and a Dragon. That they've secured for themselves. Meteor actually blasts out the ult to set up for High Chow. What a combo! Voting might drop as well. Does survive. This is the requiem also comes off. that you can stack it more often. Ah, so, so if, it's it, better if you for get, laning. so if you get if you get it procs but it doesn't kill, it's still on a low cooldown. Rookie might have to blow his flash here. High Chow going towards the knockup doesn't hit him. So here comes Meteor. Rookie trying to count it out. High Chow doing some big damage. Meteor is also doing some big big damage. Rookie just can't escape. True Shot Barrage comes in and... Going towards you know, that spectator. Show you. Not necessarily been making the hero plays, and that is now a, what, a fourth? Fifth? It's three, and I was saying something in that previous play. That's another Baron. That is, I think, five neutrals in yeah. a row at this point, but if I'm not... I Chow immediately just dips back out. LGD, though, using this Baron to break a bottom in Hib Tower. Birdol and Xiaoya. Not afraid to step up. Very, very tanky right now. And it means that NIP can't necessarily get themselves free picks with their AD carries. Feels like it's all LGD right now. Xiao Ya walks away. Barrier used there. But another tower broken. In hip down now on the bottom side is Birdall just using the Baron to pressure. Rookie trying to chase onto this Cassante. But the flash all out comes through onto Rookie. The Solar Flare trying to deny his exit. But he does survive. Lien does not. Rookie doesn't. And Juo falls as well.
Photic sent underneath his Nexus Towers. He just doesn't have the damage. This combo from LGD has been absolutely disgusting. Both these teams have not won a series. Both these teams have only won two games in the Rumble stage. Shanji is going to try and save the game, but he won't be able to do anything close to it. And LGD will bring us back to even here. One to one in this deciding series to see I mean, who will win at least one series in the Rumble stage. This just had to go to three games, didn't it? it these were the best highlights from today's LPL matchup. Click that subscribe button faster than Ramus can say. Okay. See you on the next one.